Hey guys, how are you doing? It's your boy Mubzi TV, yeah? Anyway, Man United play PSG today in the Champions League first leg at Old Trafford. And you know what? It was a big game for us. Um, it was a big test for Ole as well. Very big game for us because we're playing PSG and PSG a really good team. We had the advantage because we've been doing really well, all the unbeaten games. And PSG didn't have Neymar and Cavani. Well, fortunately... We lost two 0 We lost two 0 and and it's. I don't want to get too angry about it because you know, it's gonna it's disappointing and all that stuff. We should have beat them at home. They've got two away goals now, so if we if we want to go to the next round, we're gonna have to beat them at least three 0 away. And that's that's it's gonna be difficult as well. PSG away is gonna be really difficult, man. And it's just like. Uh, I, I, I'm not really happy with the result because, like, we could be doing better. But, you know, at the end of the day, we, we're not good enough. That's all I'm going to say. We're not good enough. Like, we are a good team. We are a really good team. We've gone back to where we should have been. Uh, whereas Mourinho would have made us lose all these two games. But we've actually been doing really well. Ten games unbeaten. Or is it 11 now? Yep. All them unbeaten runs. But you know what? It's going to happen anyway. We're going to lose a game. And you know what? It's, it's a shame it had to be against PSG at Old Trafford. But you know what? Fair play to PSG. They played really well. They actually defended well. We were trying to go forward. We couldn't get through the box. Legit, we couldn't get through them. We tried to pass it. Their players there at the right place at the right time. Getting the ball and defending themselves. Man United, however... We couldn't really do that. We we dominated the game. It's not like we got battered completely. We actually dominated the game, in my opinion. But, you know, we just couldn't get through them. The team, it's like... It's just like... It's like they built a wall there, man. Like, we couldn't... We couldn't get through the wall. De Gea saved us a couple of times, and, you know... But, you know... First half, we played really well. We played really well first half, and it was... Alright, because, like, it wasn't bad... We, yeah, we uh, dominated the game quite a lot. We had the ball a lot of times. We tried to do chances, but we just couldn't get forward. And then, second half, after they scored that first goal, it just went uh, all, all over the place. We just went all over the place, man. And then, Di Maria, the fucking snake. He's the biggest snake in football history, yeah? Really big snake. Ended up assisting Mbappe's goal. All right, I was happy that Ashley Young nearly killed him. He should have actually killed him. But yeah, he nearly killed him. And I was so happy that he did that. But you know, it didn't make any difference. Because at the end of the day, he went and got a goal contribution against us. We He used to play for us. He told us to fuck off. And now he's scoring against us. And assisting against us. You fucking prick. That's what I don't like. And then he had the audacity to say to swear to the United fans. How dare you, man? How dare you have the audacity to say that, man? Like, Mourinho said the same thing after the Newcastle game, and the FA were all over him, saying, look at him, he should be banned. But they couldn't find evidence to say that he swore. What, what are they going to do for Di Mourinho? Are they going to do anything for Di Maria? Are the folks? He's going to be walking around like nothing's happening, little piece of shit. That's what. But then, unfortunately for us, we've had two injuries. Lingard and Martial, man, both got injured, meaning we had to make changes at half-time. Alexis Sanchez before half-time. That's how bad it was. Like, they, we missed them a lot. Because they, Lingard and Martial, actually pressed forward. We were pressing forward in the first half, going forward so many times. I know we couldn't get through them, but second half was a big... We could definitely see that what we were missing so much. Because we couldn't get forward as much as we could in the first half. You know, it was disappointing that. And then he took Rash with us. We put, we put Lukaku on, which was not going to be help either. But, you know, that wasn't a big problem. The main problem is we just couldn't get through them. And then at the end, worst, comes, uh, worst thing happened. Paul Pogba had two yellow cards. That means he's got a red card. That means he's not going to be playing the next match. Are you serious? We've already got two injuries now. Now we're not going to play Pogba. Pogba is the difference between in our club, man. Now he's not going to play for us, man. We're screwed. That's what I'm saying. We're proper screwed, man. Like, yeah, I'm serious, man. It's, it's, it's not nice, man. Like, uh, it's not... Oh, man. I wanted us to do better. I wanted us to at least try our best and all that. 
which we did. We actually tried our best. We just couldn't get through them. It's not like we got battered by them. I, I bet or the Mourinho maybe we could have got battered. I don't really want to keep comparing Mourinho away, but you know what? This season we just gotta have to do it because the way we've been playing differently, it goes to show that. But like, and all the rival fans, Arsenal fans, Chelsea fans are gonna be laughing at us because we lost. But even they would have got even more battered by PSG than we would have. I don't care. They're not good enough. Emery's Arsenal and Savvy's Chelsea are shit. They would have got battered by PSG. Arsenal's been battered in the Champions League plenty of times. We only lost 2-0. Alright, it's not an achievement or anything, but you know, still you can't be bantering us for that when you're not even playing until Thursday night. And Chelsea got battered 6-0 by City the other day. How do they have the audacity to laugh at us? Fuck off, man. Yeah... I also, finally, I just want to say, the referee was a fucking joke. What was wrong with him? Giving yellow cards to everyone. He didn't give a red card to the guy who scored first. He didn't send him off. He knocked uh, Rashford on the floor. Nothing happened. But then he's going around giving us all red cards. The referee is a fucking joke. Seriously, I don't like what they're doing, man. It's, it's disgusting. How are you doing this? And you know what? They had VAR. They've got VAR now in the Champions League and they don't fucking use it. They're not using VAR. How are you not using VAR, man? That's needed. There's a reason we got that because all used referees are shit. But the problem with VAR, in my opinion, is that it's still using a referee's decision to make a decision. They just say they only use VAR when they choose to use it. Alright, it's going to be a bit bullshit if we're going to have to do it so many times and all that. But you know what? You use it at wrong times, and then you don't use it at the times that we need it. That's what I mean about VAR, man. Like, That's the problem with VAR. It's not being utilised properly. And, and you know what? We've had to... We've cost ourselves for that, man. Like, We lost 2-0. Pogba's out suspended, and Martial and Lingard are injured. I just hope they both are back by Chelsea. I was chatting to a few people to saying that. Might not Lingard might not even be back by then, cause it's to do with his hamstring. I'm like, oh for fuck's sake, man, we need Lingard. Why Lingard to dance on the Emirates again? But you know, please, man, we are screwed. But you know what? I, in a way, losing. I don't want to say it's a good thing, cause it's never is a good thing losing. But at least now we can see how Ole is going to prepare himself for the next match. How does he react to a loss? How's he going to get the team back up to forget that the loss happened and just move on? That's what we like to see now. And if he does that really well, at least we could see, look, he is a good play manager. Which I still think he is. Because Ole is a really good manager. The way he's got us there, 10, 11 games unbeaten. Even Pep Guardiola didn't do that. Pep Guardiola only did about 10. Ole's done 11. Even better, man. It was one of them ones we just couldn't beat PSG. PSG are the much better team. Man United are just not up there at the moment. We're getting better. We were all the way down there at first. But now we're up here. But PSG and the European levels are so high. It's hard to play beat European teams. Champions League teams are different. Even City who have the best ever uh, Premier League and all that and do really well. They're not even up there yet either. There's no way they're going to win the Champions League. I don't think any English club is going to win the Champions League yet. Liverpool might get lucky and all that, but they're, they're bottlers anyway, so I don't think they will. Uh, it's just, I am not, I am disappointed, but I'm not moody. I'm not going to be like, only oh, this, only oh, that, yeah. I know it's going to happen anyway. We're going to lose at the end of the day. But at least we can now see how we're going to prepare ourselves for the next match, which is Chelsea away, Stamford Bridge, another hard place to play. We've not won there since 2012. So hopefully we can play properly. Sarri ball is shit. Sarri's not been doing really well for Chelsea. So you know what? I hope we can do something against them, man. You know what? I'm going to end the video here. Please like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Disappointed game, but you know what? It is what it is. Let's hope we can beat them away, which is going to be much harder. There are miracles that can happen, but miracles are rare. We did it against Juventus. Could we be lucky to do it against PSG? Anyway, 
Like, subscribe, and peace out, yeah.